All right, so in today's video, guys, we're going to be unboxing the weirdest airsoft guns on the whole internet. As you can see, we have this huge box, and then we also have this mini one on top. This mini one is coming out at four pounds. We unbox that one first, and then we have a whole bunch of airsoft guns in here, and this thing weighs almost 40 pounds, just full of airsoft guns in this single box. In this video, we're actually gonna go check them out and see what they look like in person and how they shoot. Obviously, all these guns I'm gonna be shooting in this video, don't worry about that. We'll actually get to test them out too. Not only will you get to see all the weird stuff, but you actually will get to to see how it performs as well because sometimes maybe some weird stuff will actually perform pretty well so there's only one way to check it out First up, we got this crazy shotgun I saw, and there's kind of a weird little Easter egg about this shotgun. Cause you just look at it and you're like, okay, it's not, you know, anything too weird or crazy. It's just a Mossberg 590 chainsaw. But there is a little weird cork about this thing that is definitely worth talking about. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about in the shooting test. These uh, plastic ones are not too easy to unbox. I haven't actually got a whole bunch of these. Obviously kind of lower end guns have this type of packaging, but we'll see what we can do to unbox this guy. There's definitely not a graceful way to do this, but I think we found out a way through the back here. Oh, there we go. Right, there we go. It says 355 FPS. We'll actually see if that's correct in a second here. See, these are the weirdest BBs I think I've ever seen in my whole life. What the heck? This isn't the weird thing about this gun, obviously, but look at these. These are so weird. They almost look like little marbles for BBs. That's really interesting. So here it is. You might just be looking at it and saying, well, this is kind of just a normal shotgun. What's so weird about it? But obviously it is a spring one as well. Actually kind of feels kind of satisfying to cock it back and shoot too. Looks like it comes with a little a magazine. You actually load the BBs up through there. And then once you pull the spring back, you actually just kind of shake the BBs from this big compartment into this little spring system. So you can actually plug it into the gun and shoot it like so. You even have a little rail on the bottom and the sides of the pump action as well, which is kind of interesting. So here is the weird quirky part about this gun. Now you might be thinking, what the heck is this? Well, normal shotguns, all you have to do to actually use them, obviously, if you have it loaded up, you just cock it back like so. And if it's a pump shotgun, that's how you actually utilize the system and it just works like that pretty easy, but this thing has a really weird cork to it. So when I saw this online, it has a super weird handle that I think I'm installing this right. But once you actually get this on the rail spot you actually want, it's kind of interesting how you load this thing back. So instead of actually using the pump itself to load the shotgun and shoot it, you actually can use this handle, which I've never seen this on any shotgun ever. So it's kind of interesting. So this is basically the new way how you can hip fire it. So obviously this thing is kind of funky because when you load it back like this, unless you want to hip fire it across the map, you actually have to aim it back up and use the iron sights like so. But I'm assuming because this thing has this huge handle, it's actually more utilized for hip firing. So it's kind of cool. An interesting part about this I didn't even notice is it actually has a hop up system, which is kind of interesting for a spring shotgun. So there is normal hop. And then if you adjust this little bar to the left side, that is the hop. So pretty cool. So now let's actually go ahead and see how this thing shoots. All right, so let's test out this quirky shotgun and see if this weird feature on the uh, top there actually makes it worse or better. Definitely more satisfying to cock back, I'll tell you that. Kind of once you're aiming it, as you guys see, it's pretty annoying, but obviously cocking it back is more the fun. Yes, I hit it, all right, cool. Let's do actually the hip fire function of this guy and see how it's supposed to work out with this uh, functioning handle on the top. Obviously, super hard to aim while you're just hip firing this. It'd be kind of nice if this thing actually had three shot bursts. Basically means every time you cock it back, it shoots three BBs or even like five or six. That'd be cool. It'd kind of make more sense for like a hip firing sign shotgun. But obviously with one shot, this guy's really hard to actually aim in when you're hip firing it like this. Oh, I got one. All right, it is big boy time. This is about a 40 pound box. All the rest of the weird corky guns are in here. So without further ado, let's actually go ahead and put our sleeves back and see what we got in this bad boy. Real quick, I wanna give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, me. I'm giving away all the airsoft guns I unboxed in this video on my club, theairsoftclub.com. I give away an airsoft gun every single week on my club and I've been doing lots of bonus giveaways on top of that as well. Today's giveaway gun is the $400 VFC Fab Arm Gas Pump Shotgun. Not only do you get automatically entered in weekly airsoft gun giveaways, but you also get other perks such as exclusive videos and live streams with me, patches and stickers when you sign up, and even a private discord. To check out the club, click on the top link in the video's description. Now back to the video. Obviously, I remember some of the guns I ordered, but not all of them, so some of these are going to be kind of a surprise for me as well, which is always fun. 
All right, so let's see what we got in here. So let's go ahead and start with this guy first. This one again is a little bit more of a simple gun. So we'll start with kind of more of the boy ones first. And then at the end, we'll go to one of our crazy ones like this one. So let's go ahead and see what we got in here. This one seems to be some kind of little plastic pouch. So probably not the most expensive gun out there, but let's go ahead and see what we got here. Usually when they include BBs, they include more than like three, but well, there you go. Bruh. So this thing is supposed to kind of mimic like maybe a Mac 10 or Mac 11 or something like that. Obviously it's got the super quirky magazine. I believe you just put the BBs in the bottom like so right there. So like the previous gun, you actually just take the spring, put it down. There is a little hole right there in the magazine. And then you basically shake the BBs from the uh, bigger chamber right here into this little system right here with the spring. And then once you have the BBs loaded up, it'll actually be able to install into the bottom of the magazine like so. And this is literal just box or square part right there. There you go. So you might be again wondering why this is weird or quirky, but I saw a little weird feature about this guy. Definitely caught my eye on the store so instead of you know cocking it back back here or even on the top or on the back or something like that this thing you actually just cock it back in the front which i think is really funny it even has a little fire or safe switch right there too definitely not the best utilization of this because obviously that's where the bb comes out in the end right there and so having your hand right here quickly needing to grab it and actually utilize it like that is probably not the best way to actually load this guy up but obviously they thought that was the best idea for this design Not, oh, there we go, there's one. About to say not too accurate and then I just hit one. Kinda have to aim lower than you would think. Every time I like cock this back, I'm afraid of like shooting my hand on accident. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, not the most accurate, but definitely kind of fun. All right, next up, I see a box that says Desert Eagle. So y'all know I'm gonna unbox this one next. Really cool, kind of just plain yellow kind of Desert Eagle box. Has a little eagle right there too. So kind of just simple, cool design. Let's actually see what we got in here. Bam, bada boom, here we go. So with this guy, obviously it just seems to be a normal Desert Eagle, but you know in this video, that is not quite the case. You have some little BBs right here, actually kind of in somewhat of a nice case for something like this price, so kind of cool. Nevertheless, that is pretty quirky, but this gun itself, so I've done Desert Eagles in the past, even has a little barrel plug right there, so there we go. So you might be thinking to yourself, this is just a normal Desert Eagle, but you would be wrong. So basically with this guy, instead of it being gas blowback or spring like normal airsoft pistols, this guy is actually ran by electricity, which is kind of interesting for a airsoft pistol. It's pretty rare. Obviously they do make some pistols like this, but it is indeed very rare. I've never actually seen a electric blowback Desert Eagle. So you heard that right. Every time you shoot this guy, it actually has a little mini blowback feature right there. So pretty cool. Every time you pull the trigger, the little slide goes back like so. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, what do you run this way? Is some cool LiPo or some nine volt battery? Nope, you run this guy at the bottom. You actually have some, I think double A's or triple A's. Actually, we'll have to check right there. From the size, I would guess they're triple A's, but they might be double A's as well. So you just load four up right there in the bottom. And then once you have that loaded up and it has a motor that spins, and then you'll be able to actually utilize the electric blowback system. Because the batteries are right there. Well, where the heck is the magazine? Well, I guess the magazine is kind of hidden into this super weird curved magazine right there. So little did you know that was gonna be in a Desert Eagle. So this guy's kind of quirky you just kind of load the bbs up into this little magazine all the way looping around to the bottom right there once you get that loaded up you actually just put it here curve it all the way into the gun so with all that weird stuff let's actually go ahead and shoot this guy and see how it does whoop and this guy actually takes four triple a's so uh kind of a lot for this guy and it doesn't really have a crazy kickback i'll show you guys in a sec Actually very accurate though. Has barely any kickback too. It's very smooth. Okay, I guess they included a second one of these and the plastic is already broke. I'm pretty sure I didn't actually order two of them, but that's weird, they actually gave two. Maybe they are trying to get rid of them because they're absolutely terrible, but that's what I would guess. Look at the uh, spring already coming out there. That is probably answers your question why it was included. This thing is not the most high quality thing you could possibly get. Nevertheless, that spring is sticking out and probably won't work. But if I do get this guy to actually end up working, I'll obviously go ahead and load both of them up and do some dual wielded Mac 10 action. Aww. 
All right, so next up, you pretty much get what you see on this guy, but I thought this thing was absolutely insane. So let's actually go ahead and open this up. It is the H8R revolver, but I saw it on the store and thought it looked absolutely insane. So let's actually go ahead and open this up. So let's actually see what it looks like. First up, this thing, yep, pretty much looks exactly what it looks like in the pictures. Even has a little uh, special edition Elite Force H8R limited edition patch, which actually looks pretty sweet. But check out that paint code. Very interesting. Obviously, you got the red accents as well as the blue and the stars as well. Obviously, signalizing that American flag. So pretty cool. Has these super bright iron sights on the top, as you can see, just glaring at you right there. Pretty cool, actually. Obviously, in CQB, that will come in very handy or even a outdoor field, too. It has some more corks I didn't even anticipate either. So obviously, it has a little safety right there. So kind of cool. Preventing the hammer from going back and forth. That is the safety. That little guy right there. You just pull that back. Then you're able to cock it back. Even sounds kind of interesting as well. And this thing is really cool because it's CO2. So it actually is run by a CO2 cartridge. And obviously in most revolvers, you actually have this system actually come out and you're able to put in the individual shells. But with this guy, obviously it's a very quirky gun. So you actually put this red bar to the left and then up. And then once you do that, you're actually able to take this little cartridge thing out like so. There you go. I've never seen a revolver or any airsoft gun run by this system, so I thought this thing was kind of cool. You put an individual BB into each one of those little slots right there, and then once you have one of these loaded up, then you just load it back into this little slot like so, and then obviously you put this little tab back down where it was. As you begin shooting, you can actually pull back this hammer and actually rotate that little disc going to the next BB, so the next one will be loaded up as you press back this little hammer, which is pretty cool. And well, it looks like they included a whole bunch of these little disc loading things, so that's pretty neat as well. It looks like each one of these little disc things holds about 10 BBs. All right, Mr. America up next. Let's go and get this little disc in there. I believe it goes this way, I think. Yeah, you kind of just squeeze that guy in there. Just pull this back, pull it back, and you're ready to go. Whew, that's got some gas to it. It's putting a fresh new CO2 cartridge as well. Well, that's kind of cool looking, actually. It's very smooth, actually. Wow, the target actually, like, stuck up. That's pretty cool. And it's nice because most obviously Magnum style pistols use six shots, but this one has that 10 round disc, so you get to use a lot more shots. Obviously really like the iron sights too. It makes it super obvious too. All right, so let's go into some of the more expensive things right now. So next up we have a SOCOM gear PLR 16. Let's actually go ahead and see what this guy looks like. All right, so this is what you get in the box. Pretty simple, just a like cardboard, basically square. and has a tiny bit of protection for the sides, but really not much. So let's go ahead and get these guys off and show you what it looks like. All right, so there is the zip ties off right there. Obviously, I saw this guy online and I absolutely had to get it. I thought this thing looked absolutely insane, super quirky and cool. Never seen something like this on the field. It's got a full rail on the top as well as the bottom right there. It's got this super weird like plastic kind of hand grip right here instead of like a full rail system. And it has these kind of like holes that go straight through which is actually very interesting. Kind of looks like ventilation or something like that. Super weird. But the even cooler thing about this guy, obviously it, it looks super weird and quirky, but it actually is functional. So this guy is a gas blowback gun. It's almost like a little pistol M4, which is pretty cool. It doesn't even have a stock, but there is a little sling in the place of a stock. And this thing actually isn't too heavy either. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to actually pair this up with a sniper loadout. And kind of just use this on a sling, maybe on your back or on the front of your plate carrier and kind of hold it as a secondary to like a sniper loadout. Obviously this guy has some really cool iron sights as well. So that's pretty neat. A lot of this seems to be metal, but some of it is plastic too. It actually feels pretty high quality but another really cool thing about this guy obviously it is actually gas blowback so you heard that right you'll be able to actually put gas in the bottom of the magazine right there obviously bb's in the top too using this really cool weird corky like loading system you put the bb's in here just goes on the top of the feeding lip like that and then you just kind of force your bb's in with this little cylinder loader and then they kind of just go in like so it actually kind of works better than normal speed loaders because this kind of is super hard to load so actually these are surprisingly easier to use than speed loaders and then obviously when you get the bb's and gas loaded up you'll be able to plug this guy in the bottom like so, cock it back and you'll be ready to shoot.
All right, I've been really looking forward to shooting this guy, basically a uh, M4 pistol style gun. Woo! This thing definitely has a big kickback too. Woo! Okay, this thing is really cool because you don't have a stock, right? But you kind of feel the whole ricochet as you're holding it just with your hands. So it's actually kind of a cool feature and actually one of my favorite guns I've ever shot. Okay, I really like this thing. <laughs> I'm not sure how practical this would be in a game because obviously without a stock it kind of makes it harder but obviously in a CKB field though I think this thing would be actually really cool. So obviously the accuracy is good at this range obviously most stuff should be pretty good at this range but this thing is obviously super fun but let's actually see how fast this guy can shoot. Pretty sluggish with the uh, rapid fire because it is a gas blowback and because of the system itself but obviously really fun to shoot fast. All right next up Let's see what we got in this random, mysterious cardboard box. Looks like this one is just a slide off, so let's go ahead and see what we got in here. Oh yeah, this guy has some super cool coloring to it, so let's go ahead and box this guy and see what it really looks like in person. Whoa. It's got a little sling that probably wouldn't trust that guy. I'd probably get a nicer sling. Even comes with a little quirky painted magazine as well. So let's go ahead and see what this guy looks like. Little red bottom. It is a high cap standard one right there. It's got a little black top. So pretty cool. Obviously matching this crazy looking gun right here. As you guys can see, this is the main reason I wanted to get this guy. I don't believe this thing shoots or is super weird in any other way. But damn, this thing just absolutely looks insane. It has a white handguard right there. A yellow kind of iron sight. A white outer barrel. You even have a little yellow painted magazine release. A dust cover that is painted yellow as well. And even that little piece down here besides the trigger obviously i can list off all the colors but you guys see it for yourself this thing is just absolutely insane every little part of this guy is painted differently and i'm guessing if you were to play with this guy on a field people would definitely be questioning you and saying how the heck did you paint it that well and how did you make everything in different colors but little did they know it actually is a stock gun which is pretty sweet Right, up next we got this colorful beauty so let's actually see how she shoots so obviously it pretty much does shoot like a $150 gun that it is nothing crazy but obviously the looks are more of the fun for this guy let's try some full auto Even broke the target with that too. Very nice. I just took a little peek in the box. We've got some absolutely insane things coming up next. The next two are actually my favorite I ordered. I'm really excited about that, but this one is super quirky. So let's go ahead and open this guy and see what it's all about. Again, with this little kind of plastic covering, we're just kind of cut all these little, little slits right there. Open this guy up. And you might actually see a little bit of a sneak peek on why this guy might be so weird. So this guy just kind of seems to be a normal kind of sniper, the MK678, but let's go ahead and slide this off and see why it's a little bit different than you would expect. All right, so that's why it is a little different. This guy is painted in a gold paint, which is super crazy. It comes with a little cute little bipod, even a little miniature sling, and a little flashlight as well, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and actually pull this. Oh, that sound, no pain. Obviously this thing is kind of like a more cheaper spring gun, but you, at least you get a top rail, some side rails, as well as a bottom one right there. And obviously with this gold paint, actually kind of looks nicer might fool some people to make them think this is a more expensive gun than it actually is it's got a detachable Bruh. magazine so obviously they couldn't spare to paint the whole thing but at least they tried for half and then to actually cock this guy back you actually just pull this guy right here pretty cool even has a super annoying sound too when you let off the spring that's some high quality All right, so obviously we got a little tiny itty bitty sling right here. I'll actually bend down for this guy. Super small sling right here. So obviously this sling is super cheap and I probably wouldn't trust it on anything else, but this thing probably weighs like two or three pounds. So this guy would probably be fine to actually utilize this sling on. Let's actually go ahead and attach it right now. I guess we got a little point back here and another point up here as well. Boop. 
There is our sling right there, pretty cool. So it has a little spring built in as well. So you can actually hold these guys together and put it up like so. So if you don't want to use the bipod, you can actually just put them down as well. So if you want to snipe some boys far away, there you go. And you can put the uh, little bipod down and actually use this guy like so even has a little flash like i mentioned one of these little pull ones as well so once you pull it i guess this thing is activated this thing actually works surprisingly but if you actually see if i turn it on it is the absolute dimmest flashlight i've ever seen in my whole life and you probably have to be in pitch darkness to even maybe see a little bit of the actual light itself All right, it is golden snapper time, baby. Let's go. Obviously don't got any iron sights or a scope on this guy, so I don't really know what I'm shooting. I'm trying my best here. I just gotta hit it one time. Gotta aim a lot lower than you think. There we go. There we go. All right, looks like we only have a few more guns remaining. So without further ado, let's go on to this second to last one right here, and then we'll move on to the larger one at the end. This one I think actually might be one of my favorites to actually shoot in this entire video, if not my favorite gun altogether. So let's go ahead and see how this thing actually looks in person. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, okay, you bought a 1911 with a cool little skull corky camo on it. Okay, big deal. But there is something that this guy is hiding underneath, and well, there's only one way to actually see the whole thing, and that is to actually pull it out. And yes, if you actually guys have seen this before, you know what I'm talking about. But this thing is literally two 1911s in one. I'll show you guys in a sec. Look at this monstrosity. This is absolutely insane. It's literally two in one. It's crazy even just to look at. Look, it's literally like two full slides together. There's got the two hammers right there. It's got two separate triggers. I'm actually curious if you pull one trigger, does it actually activate the whole gun or is it just one side? Let's see what happens. So yep, you saw that right. If you cock back the slide and pull one of the triggers, not both combined, it actually pulls both of the hammers and I'm guessing it shoots two BBs out every time you shoot. Pretty much everything about each gun is still there. So it's literally just two like kind of meshed together, which is absolutely insane. It's kind of cool that they actually made the slide one. I always actually worried that it was going to be two individual slides kind of strapped together, but they literally made this thing into one unit. But it's still cool because it has like the two different individual spots for the magazine and it has the two different triggers as well as the barrels itself. So you kind of get all of the cool stuff with having two guns attached to each other but you have the convenience of just one slide and then you only have to pull one trigger to actually activate the whole system and they obviously combine both the iron types into actually one so you can actually utilize it like you would a normal pistol it looks like it only has one mag release as well so you only have to worry about one trigger and one slide and one mag release so it kind of makes everything more convenient as well and i was a little worried that this guy would be super thick obviously combining two pistols into one i was worried that i would have to actually hold this guy with like two hands and shoot it like so they kind of made it work and obviously 1911s are not the thickest pistol in the world so you can actually utilize this guy all with one hand so another part i was very curious on so what would they do for the magazine situation obviously so you guys can see at the bottom there's not actually one individual magazine to actually use both barrels it is actually two full different magazines which is pretty cool as well but they look to be two fully functioning magazines which is very interesting but the weird part is actually there's only one way to actually load this guy up at the bottom so i'm curious if it only is actually one of the magazines that actually works or if both of them can be loaded up and maybe it's just for looks because obviously you can see the spring works so you should be able to load up both magazines but only one of them has the little gas chamber too i'm not sure if they actually designed it so the gas can actually go into the other chamber and this little kind of bridge looking thing right there obviously a very chunky magazine but how does this look going in so here we go fits it like so all ready to go obviously has this little bridge kind of like tying together the whole thing it looks absolutely insane just to look at you get to see the full two magazines right there two full nozzles right there it looks absolutely insane so 1911s actually have this extra safety at the back and what i noticed while cocking this back is actually instead of just pressing one to, and using one trigger it won't actually work you actually have to hold down both of these safeties at the back to actually be able to shoot this thing which is pretty interesting so this guy will be extra safe when hanging on to your vest or wherever you want to put it on because they have two separate sling mounts i want to see how this guy functions and actually how accurate it is and fun it is to use obviously you're using twice the mass with double slides so i'm curious to see if this thing has a crazy heavy blowback so i'm super excited to go and shoot this All right, this is the guy I've been wanting to shoot the Kimbo, basically all-in-one pistol 1911 combo. And it actually does use both magazines. There's gas in each one and BBs in each one. So we'll see if this actually works. Trying to hold back both of the safeties on the back at the same time. 
<laughs> this thing's definitely got a kickback for a pistol. Obviously, it's using double the slides, basically, so the mass kicking back is a lot more than normal, just absolutely insane. Woof. 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 It feels like it's almost like a shotgun more than a pistol when you shoot this thing. <laughs> Sheesh. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how consistent both BBs are actually shooting at the same exact place. It actually seems like both the BBs are hitting the same target when I aim it and shoot on the iron sights. I thought they would have more spread and to actually hit both of the targets. It seems like they hit the same target in one shot. Pretty cool. It's like a shotgun. It's so funny. Sheesh. There we go. And I'll do some fast paced shooting too. All right, one final gun to go. This is the finale. I think one of my favorites in this video too as well. I think this actually might be the one that is the most expensive. I'll put it on the screen right now how much this guy is. This guy is the final boss of this video. It's got these little straps right here. You guys can see that this is a electric airsoft gun. It is the AU-5G. But let's actually see why this thing is so quirky. You can kind of get a little hint towards the end of this guy. Let's go ahead and see what this guy really looks like. So there is kind of the example of the normal AUG right there. Obviously it looks standard with the standard barrel, like some video games you would play with this guy at. But this thing is obviously not in a normal airsoft unboxing video. So let's go ahead and see what this guy really looks like and actually see why this guy is included in this video. This is literally a AUG, but it has a 50 cal barrel on it, which is absolutely absurd. So pulling this guy out, this is a heavy gun definitely. So this thing obviously absolutely absurd, super heavy and obnoxious. Obviously it has a lot of weight to the front as well. And because it's a AUG also has some of the weight to the back. Honestly, it feels pretty balanced it doesn't feel super back or front heavy you would never see anyone running this thing on the field this just defeats every purpose of a like functional aug with this 50 cal barrel on there definitely if you're going for that unique or look factor or people will look over at you and be like yo what is that this is definitely the guy to get i mean no one is using this thing with that guy on there and you might be thinking to yourself as well okay wag you got yourself another spring gun wally da da but this thing is a fully electric aug as well so it's literally an electric aug snipe rifle combined this thing is absolutely insane all right so like most augs obviously you got to pull the magazine out the back which is actually a very cool feature for these guys let's go ahead and demonstrate how that works so blah 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 you're shooting pew 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 you got to reload you pull it back like so and then actually as you're taking the magazine out your thumb kind of just naturally goes to this position right here so you're able to actually take it out like so which is pretty cool and it's got this really cool little bolt you can actually pull back and slide up and actually stays in place so you can actually mimic a real reload with this thing which is pretty cool and if you actually pull back the bolt itself, you actually have access to the hop up system down there, which looks like it is a rotary one. So you just spin that wheel right there up or down to adjust the hop up rotation. So obviously this thing isn't uncarryable, but is definitely on the weirder weight size of guns. I wouldn't recommend this for anyone that is small or anything like that. I mean, this thing is probably the size of a small child standing up. Talking about the magazine a little bit, nothing crazy. It's got these really cool kind of grooves on these side. It is a high cap. You just load the BBs up in this little window right there, close it, and then you just rotate them in. This thing comes with a full top rail, obviously a huge top rail. You can put literally any attachments you want. You probably add like 10 red dot sights on that bad boy. You got a lower rail and two side ones as well, so pretty nice. But let's talk about now some of the features this guy came with, because I also saw this thing comes with some fun stuff as well. So obviously you get a simple bag of BBs. Yeet. This is a full sniper scope this thing comes with. I'm guessing you guys are wondering the same as I was. Okay, what are you gonna kind of use this majority as? A DMR slash sniper, or are you gonna use this as a M4? Obviously it is a huge gun, but it looks like they decided for you, and this thing is going to be a sniper rifle because they included a sniper scope with this guy. I'll show you guys real quick what this actually looks like in there. It is just a standard sniper scope, so nothing crazy. It's not like a dot or anything. It's a standard sniper scope in there. Pretty cool. And this sniper scope actually has some really cool features. So not only can you go from three to nine X zoom with this little dial, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is full zoom and you can scroll all the way back to three zoom, which is pretty cool. So this guy is like a variable zoom scope, which is really nice. And there's also another really cool feature if you're seeing these little numbers on screen here, you can actually turn the reticle of the sniper scope itself from red to green with different brightnesses as well so i'll show you guys what that looks like as well but and if you're wondering what comes in this white box right there it actually is just the hardware to be able to attach the variable light up color reticle sniper rifle scope on top of this crazy aug dmr sniper rifle thingy majig all right let's slide that back in there we got some more stuff to look over as well looks like it actually comes with a bipod as well but this thing will absolutely come in handy not only does it make it further look like a sniper rifle along with this scope but this thing is absolutely absurdly heavy so this will definitely come in handy so this guy looks not too simple it has these adjustable lower parts as well that will go on the ground like so and then to actually attach this to the lower rail i'm assuming you put that on there unless you are absolutely insane i like to put that on the top rail and do some upside down gymnastics 
And then to actually use this like a normal bipod, you actually just press these little circle guys forward like so. And then you're actually able to put these legs in the downward position, and actually use it like a real bipod. It'll have some play actually in the springs itself. So obviously instead of slamming on the dirt like that, it actually has more of a gradual kind of like spring to it. So it won't hurt anything. So if you want to lean left or right, and obviously up or down as well, if you want to pick it up a little bit as well to get kind of more angles, which is very, very nice. Oh yeah, I forgot with AUGs, basically if you pull back the trigger a little bit, it is semi, and then if you pull it back all the way, it's full auto.